What's up, Geek Girl World? This is Ari, and welcome to Unboxings. And guess what I got? <laughs> this is this month's Lutaku Crate. And it is straight from Hong Kong. Yes. I really liked this box the last time I got it, my first box with them. And they were like, yeah, we're gonna send you these boxes. And can you open them up on your channel? I'm like, yes, please, of course. So thank you, Lutaku, for sending me this. I really appreciate it. And um, if you guys wanna get Lutaku, I'll definitely put the link in the description below. So you can get Lutaku yourself too. Or you can just see mine. Now let's see what, it's got a lot of tape on either side. <laughs> but I love this box design. Looks like a, a treasure chest because it is like a treasure chest of stuff. Oh, and that one more, one more little tapey thing, tapey thing to come out. I get my big knife. Uh, tapey, tapey, tapey. Get rid of you. Okay, so I think we got all, did we get all the tapey? Yes, we got all the tape. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And I think this is this month's um, theme, Fire and Blood, which you guys know is from Game of Thrones. And I don't know, what is this little letter here? Let's see, what's this little nice, oh wow, this is, this is interesting. Malwork, I hope this reaches you in time. Roderick's attempts at making peace have all been in vain. The Boltons have rejected our offer and plan to take Ironrath. There has been no word of Roderick for a fortnight and I fear the worst. If we are to win this war, we need to go to SS and bring back Asher. Without him, we have already lost. Cross the narrow seas and find the one they call the Mother of Dragons, Daenerys Targaryen. My house fought alongside the Targaryens during Robert's rebellion, and she may be willing to help find him. In the chest, there's a map, some coin for when you arrive in Essos, and everything else you'll need to find her. Haste be with you, for the fate of our house depends on your success. Iron from Ice, Lady Alyssa Forrester. Wow, this is so cool. So we are on a little kind of like scavenger hunt or I, I like this. I like Lutaku's doing this little themey thingy. That's so interesting. So here is our first item and it looks like it's a, a sack. <laughs> I wanna say it's a sack, but I don't see an opening. Uh, uh, oh, wait, wait, is there an opening here? Uh, uh, opening here? Uh, here? Uh, here. Uh, oh, okay, it is a, it's a pillowcase. It's a burlap pillowcase. <laughs> but this is cute, though. I love the design. Of course, this is the Targaryen's uh, sigil, uh, Fire and Blood. And yeah, this is really cool. The color is very rich. It's very great material, very thick, great material. It's not burlap, of course, it's not. It's just really heavy woven. So that looks really nice. You can put a pillow in it and put it on your, your couch. And nice, oh, and I don't have this. Oh my gosh. I don't have this. I've been eyeing this. But I was like, no, I'm not gonna get it. Cause I didn't collect a lot of the Game of Thrones pops, but I've totally been eyeing this in the stores. So this is kinda cool. This is, I'm not gonna say this is kinda cool. This is really cool to get in my box because I have the other dragon. I have Rhaegal. So, oh my gosh, yes. Daenerys and Dragon. Uh, and here's the, the rest of the pops in that collection. This is part of the pop rides. 
collection. And I have other pop rides, but and I, that's why I was I was kind of eyeing this one because I do have other pop rides. But I was like, I'm gonna wait on it a bit. I'm gonna wait on it a bit. But you know what? Thank you, Lutaku, for giving it to me and not having me wait anymore. Okay, so ooh. Oh, oh my gosh, Lutaku, for real? <laughs> for real, Lutaku? Are, I mean, is it really, is it too soon yet, guys? Is it too soon? I'm a book reader, but I got spoiled on this, so yeah. I haven't seen the new season because I wanted to like wait, but um, yeah, I did get spoiled on this. Is of course everybody did. So oh my gosh, is this this is this is too soon, guys? Right? <laughs> a Hodor doorstop. Oh my gosh. Oh, Lutaku, you guys, you guys got a wicked sense of humor. Oh, and this is a hand pin, I think. I believe it is a hand pin. The hand of the king. Let me, oh, let me get this out. Although, I thought the hand pin was a different design, but I think this is the hand pin. Because it has the hand on here. But, yeah. Okay, so this is the hand Oh, look at that. That is really cool. I like the detail in that. You know, guys, I really love the quality of this pen. It is pretty awesome. Oh, wow. And then, I mean, look even in the back of this. Look how nice that is. I mean, just it's really high quality. That's like really good. I mean, and even this doorstop, it, it's wooden and it has foam on the on the bottom. So this is like really high quality too. Wow. Then we have a Game of Thrones Daenerys, Daenerys Targaryen Mark of Mirin, Mirin, and it is a coin. And this is pretty nice too. I mean, yeah. Look at the detail that went into this coin. That's pretty awesome. And then we have a mini. Oh, I've been look, I've been eyeing these minis too, but I haven't found like anyone that has like a full untouched crate yet. Uh, but I've been eyeing some minis. I've been jonesing for some minis. I need to do a full case very soon because you know how I love my new vinyl smell. I have to have my new vinyl smell. <laughs> And I haven't had my new vinyl smell in a while. So yeah, I need to, I need to, I've, I've been waiting for the, like a full case of Bethesda All-Stars to come out. So yeah, I need to get, I need to get back on my minis. But yeah, if I can find a full case somewhere, hopefully soon, and I'll put up an unboxing for you guys. But, oh, uh, let's see what we got. And we got, he didn't really smell, and I don't really know him. He's blonde, is this Jamie? No, it's not Jamie, because his hand's not gone. Um, but, <laughs> oh, Jora, I think this is Jora. I think this is Jora Mormont. Not really sure, but if you know, let me know in the comments below. But I think it is Jora Mormont. Not positive, but yeah. And there's no rare ones in this collection. They're all one in 12. If you can see that clearly on the box. 
there I think that's focus yeah they're all 1 in 12 so there's no rare ones in from this box I don't know if they had like exclusive boxes going I didn't see any exclusive boxes going to Hot Topic or um, GameStop or anywhere where else so I don't think they had exclusives in that series okay oh wait we got one more thing that I just sat aside because it was rolled up um, but let's see, let's see. Oh, the tape is on here kind of funny. Let me see if I can just eat, eat it off a little bit, a little bit at a time. Okay. Obviously, this is, it, it's a poster, but it's on some really nice paper. Oh, this is like really nice paper. And it's a map of Essos. This is nice. This is really nice. This is uh, this is some nice quality heavy paper that they got this on. And you could totally put this in a nice frame and hang it up. Wow. This is nice. So let's see what they say about everything. So of course we got our Funko Pop rides, Daenerys and Dragon. I will take what is mine with fire and blood. Daenerys is the only daughter and youngest child of King Aerys II Targaryen, the Mad King, and his sister wife, Rhaella. She is one of the last confirmed members of the House Targaryen who, until 15 years before the events of the first novel, ruled on the Iron Throne for nearly 300 years. Drogon is one of the dragons born in the Dothraki Sea, along with Viserion and Rhaegal. He is named after Daenerys' late husband, Khal Drogo. He is distinguishable by his black and red colored scales in his red and black wings. He is the largest and most aggressive of the three hatchlings. Then we have the Game of Thrones one of two Dragon of Daenerys Targaryen type one coin. Okay, so you could have gotten, there's one of two, so you could get either one of these ones that they have here. Um, the picture is kind of small, so you can't really tell, but I hope you can see that there. And um, as Queen of Marine, Daenerys issues this gold mark to proclaim once and for all her hatred of slavery in all its forms. The obverse features her stern visage surrounded by her three dragons. Dragon stands above with his mouth agape, Rhaegal and Viserion beside her. The golden Game of Thrones one of two dragon of Daenerys Targaryen mark type one mint coin is struck on hand engraved steel dies in solid cartridge brass at Shire Post Mint to emulate the large denomination coin that would be common among the well-off of Essos. It features the head of Daenerys on the obverse with her three dragons and the words Daenerys Targaryen, Queen of Marine on the reverse. You'll find the stepped pyramid with the broken chain symbol of freeing the slaves and the words breaker of chains, one mark. So that's pretty awesome. Love that. Then we have Game of Thrones Mystery Miniseries 1, 2, 3 plus Limited Edition. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so collect all your favorite characters with the Game of Thrones Mystery Minis figures. Receive a random one from 1, 2, or 3 series. So you can receive one of the, like a, just a random one from either of the series. I got one from series 3 I believe which is the newest one. Yeah. Edition three. Then they're having a special draw. Five lucky winners selected at random will instead receive a limited edition Game of Thrones In Memoriam Mystery Mini exclusive from the 2014 San Diego Comic Con valued at $20 USD. Oh, I would have loved to have gotten that one. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I wonder who got, if you get Lutaku, let me know if you got that one and what did you get in it. Let me know in the comments below. Then we also have our Game of Thrones Hodor, Hodor, I can never say that right. Hodor, I should start saying hold the door, hold the door, hold the door, hold the door. Yeah, then you get it. <laughs> Hodor Door Wedge. 
Hold the door, hold the door, hold the door. <laughs> Lou Taco, you guys are crazy. I mean, yeah, it's too soon to be playing them jokes. And one of the saddest, most shocking moments in the show. You can now commemorate Hodor's life with this Hodor door wedge when you just need to hold the door. <laughs> oh my gosh. Handmade alpine ash, also known as Tasmanian oak or Victorian ash, rub, rubber backed, finished with protected natural wood oil from Oz Toy Maker in Australia. Check, check them out at Facebook slash Oz Toy Maker. I'll put a link in the description if you want to go check them out too and you don't have your own Lutaku. <laughs> And then we have the Game of Thrones Hand of the King pin. So it is the hand pin. Okay. The Hand of the King or King's Hand is the most powerful appointed position in the Seven Kingdoms, second only to the King in authority and responsibility. A hand is often used as a symbol of the Hand of the King, such as on wax seals of letters. Hands of the King often wear a badge of office shaped like a hand, such as a brooch or a gold necklace with a repeated hand design. And then we have the Game of Thrones map of Essos print. Essos is an immense landmass located to the east of Westeros. Extending into the far east of the known world, the free cities are located on its northwestern shores with the Dothraki Sea located deep in the continental interior and the cities of Slaver Bay on the south coast. And last but not least, we have our Game of Thrones Targaryen cushion cover. House Targaryen is a former great house of Westeros and was the ruling royal house of the Seven Kingdoms for three centuries before it was deposed during Robert's Rebellion and House Baratheon replaced it as the new royal house. The few surviving Targaryens fled into exile. House Targaryen's sigil is a three-headed dragon on a black background and their words are fire and blood. So this was a really, really nice crate. Definitely worth what you pay for it. They also, I love what Lutaku does. They put the value, what they value the items for on here and they, and they aren't, um, being over exaggerating, especially with um, what the, with the pops. I mean, they put posted the Funko Pop ride as twenty five dollars. That's uh, pretty reasonable because they are about twenty to twenty five dollars. The pop rides. Um, I think I paid like I think we paid like twenty four ninety nine for our Harry Potter one. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, the coin is seven dollars. The mystery mini is $8, the limited edition is $20. Mystery minis, yeah, they can go anywhere from like $5.99 to like $8.50. So yeah, it depends on where you get them at. So that's that's reasonable to place it at eight. I mean, I've even seen them as like as high as 10 some places for mystery minis, which I'm like, what? No, but anyway, uh, the door wedge is $20 and that doesn't surprise me because this is some really high quality wood and the etching in here is just, I mean, this is high quality. This is really good. And then um, the pin is $5, the map print $5, and the cushion cover ten dollars. I actually would uh, would have given more for that cushion cover, but the total estimated value of this box is eighty dollars USD, and I think this box is forty nine ninety nine plus shipping. You will pay a little bit more for shipping because it is shipping from Hong Kong if you're in the United States, um, but. To be honest, it ships very fast. I think they shipped this out to me on the 10th and well, it, it I mean, it's coming all the way from Hong Kong and so I got it, it's like the 27th. So they shipped it around the 10th and, or yeah, they shipped it around the 10th, it's the 27th. So yeah, it did take, a, it took a little bit, but it's worth it. I mean, it seriously is worth it and considering that it's coming all the way from Hong Kong, yeah, 
it is worth it and this is one of the boxes besides the BAM box this is the other box that I completely wait for and that's not because Lutaku is like hey Ari here here's a box can you unbox it for us I I wait for this because I get this kind of stuff I get this in the box I I don't know what box that is out there that's gonna give you a pop ride and you pay 40 bucks for the whole box i mean well 49.95 so 50 bucks for the whole box a pop ride and a mystery mini in the box seriously <laughs> this is a this is a high quality well worth your value and i'm not just saying that to say that i totally mean that because you guys know that i love pops and i love subscription boxes and yeah the if you you should get Lutaku <laughs> I am recommending you get Lutaku and if you want to get Lutaku go ahead and click the link in the description below and sign up for Lutaku and thank you for watching remember like us on Facebook follow us on Twitter and visit our website geekgirlworld.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more unboxings bye